My dear lovely students, now it's time for math class. I Naima Afrin, teacher of Milestone Preparatory KG School. Welcome you all our math online class. How are you all? I hope all of you are fit and fine by the grace of Almighty. And before starting the class, I would like to extend my warmest wishes to you all. Now it is cold day, isn't it? But I know that my students are very smart. Weather cannot vary in your studies, isn't it students? Yes, so get ready for the class. Okay students, can you tell me what was our previous lesson? Yes, in our previous classes, already we have finished addition and addition what problem so can i ask you question from the previous lesson okay i am asking you that you know that already we have finished addition what problem also so can you tell me what is the clue word of addition what problem you know that in your addition what problem they will give you some clue and by watching this clue word, you can easily understand that we have to do here the addition. So can you tell me what is the clue word of addition? Yes, very good. The clue of our addition is all together, total, all and there are extra word also in there. Okay, my dear students. And now, can you tell me what is called the answer of addition? Yes, very good. The answer of addition is called sum. Okay, I hope that already you have practiced addition and addition word problem properly at home. And now I am starting our new lesson. And today we will start a new chapter. And our topic name is subtraction. Okay? And our CW number is 9. Okay, my dear students? So get ready for the new class. Take out your CW copy, book, diary in front of you. And sit properly. Okay? Now, students, before starting our class, we have to know what is called subtraction. Do you want to know what is called subtraction? Subtraction is the process of finding how many are left when some are taken away. So in short, we can tell that subtraction means giving away and taking away. So my dear lovely students, I am giving an example for you so that you can easily understand what does Subtraction means. So look at the board. Look, I have 8 apples at first. And I gave 4 apples to my friends. My friends take away 4 apples from me. So now how many apples are left here? To find out the answer, what I have to do? I have to do here the addition. Now I have to do here the subtraction. Which one? Yes, I have to do here the subtraction to find out the answer because my friend has taken away four apples from me. So my number has become less here. So for that I have only four apples left with me. Have you understood now? What does subtraction mean? Yes, very good. So students, you know that in addition chapter, we have learned some parts of addition. Isn't it? So subtraction, there are also some parts. Now I will discuss to you about these parts. So look at the board. Subtraction has three parts. Their name are Minuend, subtrahend and difference. 
let's explain these three parts of parts name of subtraction okay so at first look minuet what is called minuet how can we understand this is minuet so what is called minuet minuet means the number from which we subtract another number is called minuet number okay students again i repeat the number from which we subtract another number is called minuet number look i have written one example here 235 and this is minus sign okay you know always we uh, represent subtraction by using minus sign and this sign is called minus sign okay so 235 minus 160 equal to i have written 75 okay so if it is side by side subtraction i have shown here so there are three number here one is 235 another one is 160 and after doing the subtraction we got 75 so which part is called minuet here yes 235 is minuet here because from this number we have to subtract another number isn't it student so this 235 is our minuet number okay so now let's explain about subtraction part so what is called subtraction yes the number which we subtract that is called subtraction the number which we subtract look again i am giving here the same example 235 minus 160 equal 75 after doing the uh, subtraction we got the answer 75 okay so in this number which part is called subtraction yes here 160 we have to subtract from the 235 so this 160 is our subtraction in this part because this number we have to subtract from the minuet number okay my dear students okay now again i am explain the next part of subtraction now students i will explain what is called difference difference means the number obtained after the subtraction so look at the board students i told you that number obtained after subtraction is called difference so look at there there is i have written 235 so already we have uh, know that it is called minuet part and this number is called subtraction part and look after doing the subtraction we got here 75 this is our answer 75 so this 75 is our difference because after doing the subtraction we got the answer 75 so that is called difference okay that is called difference okay my dear students okay so i hope all of you have understood the parts name of subtraction be careful about the spelling because some of you sometimes uh, made uh, mistake about the spelling of minuet subtraction difference okay my dear students okay now before starting our today's lesson i want to tell you some important point about subtraction whenever we will uh, go for start the subtraction then what we have to do we have to keep in mind some rules that we have to arrange the number according to the place value okay always whenever we will do the uh, arrange the number then we have to arrange the number according to the place value that means ones place under ones place hundred place under hundred place Okay, tens place under tens place, thousand place under thousand.
place. And another important point you have to keep in mind that uh, whenever we will do the subtraction always we have to write the bigger number at first. That means median number. At first we have to write the bigger number or median number at first because we know we cannot subtract uh, smaller number to greater number. Always we have to subtract greater number to smaller number. If you write smaller number at first, then your answer will be wrong. Okay, my dear students, so we have to keep in mind always that we have to write the greater number at first, that means minor number, and then we have to write smaller number. Clear? Now I am start writing our first problem. And today from page 37, from page 37, I will show you some problem. Okay, get ready. Now, students from phase 37, today I will show you problem number 1, 2 and 7 number. And look, I have written here problem number 2. That is our problem. I have written 530 minus 90. And what we have to find out here? Yes, we have to find out here the difference. Okay, so as I told you before that now can you tell me this number is called what? This is our median number and this is our subtraction number. So 90 will subtract from this 530. Okay my dear students, so look it is side by side subtraction. So what we have to do here, side by side, subtraction, addition, we have to show the rough word. Isn't it students? Okay. Now I told you before that whenever we will do the subtraction, at first we have to arrange the number according to the place value. Look, I have arranged the number here for you so that you can easily understand. So I have written here 100 plus H, T means tens and O means ones. And after, under this ones place, I have put here zero. Under the tens place, I have put three. And under the hundred place, I have put here five. So I have written the million number at first because you know that uh, we have to subtract always greater to smaller number. That's why I have written this minion number at first. And now I have to write this 90. And from which side I have to start writing? Yes. We have to always start writing from the right side. That ones place under ones place. I have written here already and tens place it will be 9. Okay. And now at last I have given here the subtraction sign. That is minus sign. You know that always we represent subtraction by using minus sign. So now we have to solve this problem. Isn't it students? So be attentive. Look at the board. So I have to start from the which side? Left side or right side? Yes. Always we have to start from the right side. Okay. Now look. I am starting 0 minus 0. What will be there? 0 minus 0? Nothing. 0. Our answer is 0. So, now go to the tens place. And look, tens place, 3 is the upper part and 9 is the lower part. So, can we subtract students? No, we cannot subtract because 3 is smaller than 9. And I told you before we cannot subtract uh, smaller number to greater number. Always we have to subtract greater number to smaller number. Then how can I solve this problem? Yes, we have to borrow in that case. We have to borrow number from the previous place. Okay, so 3 is the tens place and 3 will borrow from the previous place. That is 100 place. Okay. So what happened in that case? Look at the board. Now 3 is 
asking to the five that give some number to him as a borrowing. Okay. So what happened? Our number will be here change. How we can change the number? Look, this is hundred place is five, and this hundred place tens place will borrow one hundred. Okay. So what happened? If this five will give one hundred to the tens place, then what changes will come? Five will be five now. No, five will become four hundred. Five will become four hundred. I have given a circle here because our number has changed for borrowing. Okay. So now you know, students, uh, tens place has borrowed here. One hundred. Now, students, can you tell me how many tens are there in one hundred? Yes, ten tens are there in a one hundred. So, tens place will get ten here. Okay, we know one hundred. There are ten tens. Okay, so now tens place has got here. Ten. So our digit will be now change. What happened there? Ten plus three. I am showing it here as a rough word. Ten plus three. This ten place has changed now. Ten plus three. It will be what? Thirteen now. So we have to subtract nine from thirteen. I am showing it here as a rough word. Thirteen minus nine. Okay. So what I have to write as a difference? Thirteen minus nine is your finger line. Nine will be there. So after thirteen, count nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We got here four. So our answer is here four. Okay, my dear students, have you understood? How can we borrow from the previous place? Yes. Okay. Now I am starting the hundred place. Look. Now it is not five now. It has become four hundred. Okay. So there is no number in the lower part. So four will directly come down here. Okay. Under the hundred place. So you got the answer here. What? Four hundred forty. This is our answer. I have to write it here, and at last I am writing it in the answer. Okay, this is our answer, four hundred forty. So, students, I hope that all of you have understood that how can we borrow number from the previous place. Okay, so like this way we have to solve the others numbers also. Okay, so now I am showing you another problem. Get ready for that. Now, students, I will show you problem number seven. Okay. So I have already arranged the number to you according to the place value, and it is top to bottom subtraction. It is not side by side, so we will not show here the rough work. We can directly do the subtraction here. Okay. So now I am starting. From the which side, right side. Okay, students. Look, I have written here five hundred ninety. This is our minimum, and eighty four is our subtraction here. And I have given here the subtraction sign. Okay, so let's start counting. Look, students. In there, there is zero in the upper part, and the lower part there is four. So can we subtract? No, students, we cannot subtract because this zero is what smaller than four. Okay, so we cannot subtract here. So what we have to do in that case? Yes, very good. We have to borrow from the previous place. That means here we have to borrow from the tens place. Okay, students. So. If we are borrowing here, then what happens? Our number will be changes. Changes has come here. Okay. 
so what happened look this tells place there is nine so from this nine this zero will take one ten nine is in under the tens place so we have to borrow here one ten from the tens place is it clear to you ones place will borrow one ten from the tens place so what changes will come here this nine will be changed is that it students yes so this nine will become now what eight and as it is giving one ten to the ones place so ones place will got ten okay this changes will come here now what happen so we have to do here ones place will get here ten so ten plus zero i can do it as a rapper ten plus zero will be what ten isn't it students ten plus zero ten so from this ten we have to subtract four okay then we will get what count by your finger line four is there four go ahead up to ten five six seven eight nine ten so we got here six to reach ten six so six i have to write it once place okay my dear students now go to the tens place look there is eight now because nine has given one ten to the ones place so nine become now eight so eight minus eight will be what there will be anything no eight minus eight it will be zero now what we have to do we have to go to the hundred place go to the hundred place there is five and in the lower part there is no number so this five will directly put it down so we got the answer here 506 is it clear to you now i will write it answer our answer is 506 so students have you understood yes and you have to be careful whenever we borrow a number from the previous place some changes will come in that case okay now students i will show you same phrase 37 from this phrase i will show you problem number 2 3 okay so i have written the problem here look at the board i have written 307 minus 139 and we have to find out the difference look it is side by side subtraction so what we have to do we have to show here the rough work okay so i have arranged the number according to the place value for you here okay so look this is uh, under the ones place i have written 7 under the tens place i have written 0 and under the hundred place i have written 3 and 307 is our mean weight number that's why i have written it at first and 139 it is our subtrahend so from the right side i have put under the ones place 9 and under the tens place 3 and under the hundred place it is 1 is there so i have arranged the number here now i will go for the subtraction okay so look students at first i am starting from the right side you know it very well that we have to start from the right side that means one's position okay so seven look it is in upper part and nine is in lower part is that it student you have to be uh, look at first that upper number and lower number okay so look 7 is in upper part and 9 is in lower part but 7 is smaller than 9 
so we cannot subtract here because we know that we always we have to subtract greater number to smaller number so in that case what we have to do we have to borrow from the previous place so look once we will borrow from the previous place that means tens place from the tens place look tens place there is zero so how can ones place will borrow from the tens place ones place can borrow from the tens place no students because there is zero but tens place will tell don't worry my friend i will manage number from my another friend that is hundred place okay so what tens place will do tens place will go to the hundred place for borrowing number at first and tens place wants to help to the ones place that's why tens place is going to the hundred place for borrowing number so you have to look at the board attentively students how the changes will come here so this tens place will borrow from this hundred place hundred place there is three have you seen it hundred place is three so from this three hundred tens place will borrow one hundred at first okay so then what happened this three hundred will become two hundred because three hundred has given one hundred to the tens place then again what happened you know that 100 there are how many tens in 100 there are how many tens 10 tens oh yes 10 tens are there in 100 so 100 place got here 10 okay i am circling it and now 10 place got 10 so now 10 place can easily give to the one place 10 10 10 place now will give to the one place 1 10 so what happened if 10 place will give 1 10 to the ones place then 10 place will become 9 because because 10 place will give 1 10 to the ones place okay so you have to give here the gap some gap here because we have to show like this way in the subtraction we have to give some gap in that portion uh, so that your writing should be neat and clean okay so tens place is now what nine because it is giving one ten to the ones place now ones place will change ones place now got one ten have you seen the changes has come here you have to do like this way okay my students so now we have to go for the subtraction okay so look one under the ones place i am starting from the right side 10 and that is 7 so what will be there 10 plus 7 will be what 17 isn't it students use your finger line 10 plus 7 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so 10 plus 7 will be 17 and 17 minus 9 so 17 minus 9 will be what use your finger line again here is 9 so what will be there 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 yes 8 you got the answer here 8 so 8 i have written here 17 minus 9 we got here 8 I have, I have just written here as a rough form ok now go to the tens place now what happened there it is not now 10 it has become 9 so 9 minus 3 9 minus 3 very easy is your finger line 
9 minus 3, 3 will be there. 3 go up to 9. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We got here 6. Very easy, isn't it? Students, now go to the 100 place. 100 place, there is now not 3. It has become 2 because it has given 100 to the test place. So, 3000 become now 200. So, look, it is 2. Okay. Okay. 2 minus 1. What will be there? 2 minus 1 is very easy. 2 minus 1? 1, 2. It will be 1. So, we got the answer here. 168. Okay, students, I am writing it here. 168 is our answer. And at last, I am writing it here also. 168. Okay, my dear students. So, be careful whenever you will borrow from the previous place. Okay, my dear students. Now, students, I hope all of you have understood our today's lesson. So, can you tell me if I ask you a question? Yes. Now, tell me. What is called difference? Yes, students. The number obtained after the subtraction is called difference. Now, tell me that if we will do the subtraction, then what happens? Our number will be increase or decrease. Yes, yes. Whenever we do the subtraction, our number will be decrease because we know that whenever someone taking away something from us, in that case, we have to do the subtraction. Is it clear to you, students? Okay, now take out your diary and write down the diary I have written for you. Today our SW number will be 9. And do from page 37. Problem now. 1, 3 and 11 you will do. And from problem now 2 you will do 2 and 9 number. Okay. So write down. Okay. I hope all of you have written it in your diary. So no more today students. See you in the next class. Till then, Allah Hafiz and bye-bye.